The only things you'll need for this are a running instance of Ubuntu Server 22.04 and a user with pseudo privileges. Your Ubuntu instance can be local in a data center or hosted via a third-party cloud provider. Make sure your instance of Ubuntu Server is up to date and fully patched against known vulnerabilities. To do that, make sure you run the following two commands. If the kernel is upgraded, you'll need to reboot the server so the changes will take effect. To reboot the server, issue the command. The first thing we must do is download the official InfluxDB GPG key with the following command. Then, install the key with the following command. Next, add the required repository with the following command. Once you've added the key, update apt sources with the command. Finally, install InfluxDB with With the installation complete, start and enable the service with the command. You can check on the status with the command. You should see it listed as active, running. Finally, you'll need to open the required firewall port with the command. Open a web browser and point it to http double slash server 8086, where server is either the IP address or domain of the hosting server. Click on Get Started button, and you'll then be required to create an initial user. In the 
resulting window you'll be presented with an API token. Make sure you copy and save that token somewhere safe because it enables super user privileges. You can then click either Quick Start if you're new to InfluxDB or click Advanced if you're familiar with the database. If you click Quick Start, InfluxDB will automatically set up local metric collection and dump you right into the main window where you can get to work with the database. And that's the basics of getting InfluxDB up and running on Ubuntu Server 20.04. This powerful time series database will come in very useful for your business and the data it depends on.